In this video, we're going to introduce two Excel formulas, match and index. The top table gives the pairwise distance of eight cities, Atlanta, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Miami, New Orleans, and San Antonio. The way to look at the table is each number uh, here reflects the distance between a pair of cities. For example, from Dallas to Houston. So we have Dallas to Houston. So the row is Dallas, the column is Houston, and the distance between Dallas and Houston, in this case, is 239 miles. And similarly, Houston to Chicago, Houston to Chicago is 941 miles. So each number here reflects the distance between a pair of cities. And based on this information, we have a traveling salesperson. This salesperson is going to fly around within these cities and he wants to calculate what's the total flying mileage that he has while traveling across these cities. So his itinerary includes from Houston, the home base, to Atlanta, and then to Chicago, then to Dallas, and then to New Orleans, and then back to Houston. And we want to calculate the total distance based on the table above using Excel formulas. Okay, so first we want to do some preparation, that is to create an index number for each one of these cities. So Atlanta is the first city on the list, so the index number is 1, Chicago is 2, Dallas is 3. So we already know the city names. How do we create the index number other than to do it manually? Here we are going to introduce an Excel formula called match equals match. So for match, we're going to look up the value here is the city name Houston. So cell B17, comma. And we're going to look it up on this list. So these are all the cities. And since we are going to copy this formula around, we want to lock it down. So we tap the F4 key. And then comma. And the last command is optional. Again, don't recommend uh, leaving it empty. Just absolutely always fail in something so it's easier to read. And uh, it can match less than, exact match, or, or greater than. In this case, we want an exact match. So we use zero and close it down and then return. It gives the index number of five. So as you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. Houston is the fifth city. So it's the right index number. What the match formula does is it finds the city in the list of cities and it returns the sequence of where the city is in that list. So Houston is the fifth city, it returns five. And if I copy this down, we'll see that Atlanta is one and Chicago is two, etc., etc. So now we have the index number of these cities within this list. Okay, so now the preparation is done. We want to calculate the distance between pairs of cities. In this cell, D18, we want to calculate the distance of traveling from Houston to Atlanta. And next, we want to calculate the distance of traveling from Atlanta to Chicago, etc. So, here we're going to use the formula index equals index parenthesis. We want to look at the distance table here. So we select the distance table. Again, we want to copy this. So tap the F4 key to lock this and comma. So what the index formula does is it's going to return a number out of the table based on the row and the column you've provided. So we calculated this index number so we know that these cities, they are Atlanta is in row one of this table. 
and also in column one of this table. So we calculate those index number for this purpose. So the row number is here, the index number for Houston. So we want to calculate the row is Houston, comma, and the column is in this case Atlanta would be the first one. So the column is one. So basically what index is going to do is it will search for the fifth in the row and the first in the column, basically the distance between Houston and Atlanta. And then I close this down. So if I return, it will return the distance of 689. And this is the number I was looking for. So if I copy this formula all the way down, I will get all the distances. And if we examine, let's say this specific number, what the formula looks like, it's going to look for Chicago and Dallas the second row and the third column is the distance between Chicago and Dallas. So it returns 1,205 miles. As you can see here, using the convenient command index, I have found all the distances directly from the table above. And then after that, we're going to go back to the command equals sum to calculate the total distance, select them, and then parenthesis return. Now we know the total mileage of this trip is 3,229 miles.